Hey guys, what's up? It is Coach Todd from NC Fit Club, and I'm going to show you a couple of push-ups that are some of my favorite push-ups to do. These are more advanced push-ups. They're push-ups that you're definitely going to work towards and progress to get into, but it gives you something to shoot for. And in another video, I can show you some easier push-ups that will help you build up to this, but I thought, why not just show you where we might be trying to go with this, all right? So first thing you're going to need are a couple of balls stability ball and some medicine balls this first one is actually not going to be all that hard although i say that and you know somebody could actually get hurt doing this but it's these are all push-ups that i learned from uh, p90x and p90x2 and three and some of tony's other workouts is wide feet you go down with a stability ball you push up clap push up clap push up trying to keep your body straight and they're just stability ball clap push-ups. They're a lot of fun. They work your core. And all of these push-ups I'm actually going to show you today are all push-ups that work your core. And I am not somebody that likes to do a lot of ab work, meaning like sitting down and doing crunches and abs, even though it's obviously something you need to do. So anytime I can incorporate core work into push-ups or pull-ups, I am in heaven. So next move. Since we already had the stability ball out, I'll show you in one version of this called a stability ball military push-up where your hands are on medicine balls, your feet are on the stability ball. Let me back up so you guys can see it on the camera. There you go. And basically all you're doing is a military push-up. Hands are on the medicine balls, feet are on the stability ball. Your core has to be engaged, your quads, your butt, Everything is engaged in order to keep your body straight and be able to stay on all three of these balls. Military push-up means your elbows go back to, towards your ribs. Head is straight, back is straight, butt is tight. And you're just working your core, you're working your chest, you're working your arms. So that's a stability ball, military medicine ball push-up. Let's get rid of this big guy for a little bit. My next favorite one, I'll show you two more that I really, really like. Four ball medicine push up. Some of you that have been following us for a while have seen me do these quite a bit. You can start off with two balls in the front and just work your way up to getting used to that on your hands and then work your feet onto the balls. Basically, all four contact points, two feet, two hands, are on medicine balls. Get your balance, tighten your core. Same thing as the push up I just did with the stability ball and these actually you need to walk these back a little bit so that I can actually go down more so once you get a, once you get used to the balance thing it's just a matter of picking out the number in your head of the reps you want to do and just focus on keeping your core tight that works your hamstrings your glutes it works everything again these are all things you need to work up to the last one that I'll show you today Actually, you keep three of these. Both feet are on the back medicine ball. Your two hands are on the front medicine balls. And it's going to be a push-up knee oblique. But we're incorporating what you've done these in Insanity, you've done these in PIDX. You're just incorporating medicine balls to take it to the next level. So both feet are on the ball like a triangle. When you do your push-up and you go down, what's going to happen is you're going to rotate your back foot. Whichever foot stays is going to rotate to the center of the back ball. The foot that comes off is going to be the knee that comes towards your elbow. So let me uh, move this to where you can probably see my back foot a little bit better, which will be right here. And then pay attention to the change on that back medicine ball as I switch feet. So get both feet on the medicine balls, get your balance, and as I go down, both feet like the, this medicine ball, and get it balanced centered a little bit better. My feet are centered on each side of it. As I go with my right leg down, the left foot's gonna go to the top of the ball, and I'm gonna do an oblique push-up. Then I'm just gonna keep switching. This is much harder to do in slow motion. So let me just do it in real time because Trying to talk and do this in slow motion is not working out. 
But now you know what to look for. So there's a slight, slight switch and I hyperextended my pinky finger a couple weeks ago at the beach and I'm feeling that a little bit. Um, there's a slight switch um, in the weight between when this foot comes up and then that foot goes up and you can go back and watch it. I'm kind of getting too tired to, and winded to talk about it, but those are some of my favorite push-up moves. Let me grab this stability ball and sit on it. Perfect. Um, if you're interested, as I show you the hand, and learning how to do some of that stuff, reach out to us and I can more than happy to work with you. Some of the best things you can do are some of the P90X 101s. Um, they're long, Tony talks a lot, but they're great workouts to learn. Stability muscles like V-Sculpt, uh, chest, back, and balls are great workouts that all start incorporating stabilizer muscles. And it will help you, especially as you get older and you're playing sports like tennis or basketball or anything. All right, guys. See y'all later. Peace out.